All right, yo, what's going on, guys, man? Welcome back. We did it, man. Finally, we hit 200,000 subscribers, man. Honestly, all you guys that have been subscribing recently, I appreciate you. I think it's a sick way to start this year, man. 2020 only opens from here. Honestly, I can't wait to see what happens. But, yo, all you guys that have been subscribing, all you guys that have been subscribed and liking the videos, all that different stuff, I appreciate you, man. For real, like, 200,000 is a lot of people, man. Like, you don't understand how much it means. To me, you know, to make content, sit here, spend my time making content, and people actually want to subscribe to see more videos. 200,000... It's mad, it's mad. So I appreciate all you guys, man, for real. I just want to say that you guys could drop a like for 200k. You have to, come on now. Now, but for real, now it's time for 300k. You guys already know. All right, man, so today we're going to be using the new M13. They just added this into the store yesterday. It's called Radioactive. Now, usually I wouldn't make videos on these like random variants that they put into the store. I just don't. For the most part, they're not that special. There's nothing too crazy about them. It's just the same weapon, just looking a tiny bit different. But then I don't notice it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Really. And then not only that, the setup that they've put on it is really good. I've not actually made a video on the M13, so I thought this would be a good time to do it. I've changed it a little bit, though. So this is how it is off rip when you buy it. But I like to change it a little bit because because like most of these things don't really matter like the tack laser the range of foregrip i took those off i put on the monolithic suppressor add a little bit of damage to it and then i put on what else did i put on the stipple grip as well to aim in a little bit faster and this setup right here i used it yesterday i played some ground war got a nuke with it that you guys will see in this video but it's actually nice the new m13 is crazy <laughs> Ah, yeah, there's something different about this one. I don't know why I wanted to make a video on it. Like I said, it's probably just because I haven't used the M13. But usually, when the game makes variants for you... I knew that was a guy. When the game makes variants for you, you turn out to be pretty terrible. <laughs> I'm not even just talking about the way they look. Like, more so in terms of, like, the attachments that they put on it. Hold up. Can I get that guy as well? No. Get him. Bang. Oh! Was that a teammate? Those were teammates, right? Bro, I swear. This game's been playing games with me. Because, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but sometimes the names don't show up on, like, you know, enemies. Or even teammates. More so, more so teammates. Anyway, as I was saying, you will look at a, you will look at a teammate. Okay, okay, what are they both doing? You look at a teammate, I think it's an enemy, and it will scare the hell out of you. Get him. Bro, I don't know why his stun didn't connect, but it's all good. Get off of me, man. Yeah, I don't know why the teammates' names don't show up sometimes, man, because that can really... Bro, bro, I can't respawn. Oh my god. Flip, my door all there. But yeah, when the teammates' names don't show up, it's the worst thing ever because you will think it's an enemy. You'll start shooting, you'll panic, and you'll run away. It's, it's annoying. It's just annoying. Right inside, those shoot houses back. I like shoot houses because it's not just filled with camo getters. Like people are actually using normal weapons on this to play normal and stuff like that. It's cool. Oh, flip. I'm going to put on stopping power. Wait! Wait! Hello? Nah, I'm not having that. I'm not having that at all. There's no way. No way I don't survive that. I just got melted. I mean, I guess that's what you get when you come up against a bunch of 155s. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people always say to me, like, you play against bots and stuff like that. I assume when you see me get an advanced UAV, you think it, oh, yeah. He's most definitely playing against bots. But I'm telling you, most of the time when you see me playing, you can almost guarantee I'm not playing against bots. I knew it. Oh, if my respawn gets disabled again. What the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, someone's got to teach me how to do that. How do I find uh, shoot house lobbies with noobs? That would be so... Oh, wait. Oh, that's the teammate's one. That'd be so sick to me, you know? Like, running around on a on shoot house with noobs? Oh, bro. That would be heaven. That would actually be heaven to me. Like I said, I'm happy they brought shoot house back just because I enjoy it a lot more in comparison to shipment. Shipment's just like a bunch of randomness that you use for camos, in my, opi in my opinion. Whereas... Oh, no. Oh my, I'm lying down. I don't feel safe. Whereas, you know, shoot house is more of like a, it's more of like a rhythm to it that you can get down. Oh, bro, I didn't know there was another guy there. Look at you, just, oh, look at you, man. You're not scared. The game's ending anyway. Yo, shoot house is a whole vibe to me, man. I don't know why, but it really is. Especially with this weapon. Usually, I can't really, well, I don't like to use ARs on shoot house just because you need to pull up your weapon as fast as possible. For me, though, this M13 setup is wild. I'd say it kind of turns it into an SMG. Oh, yeah.
Bro, what's up? Yo, fix your mic, man. Yo, I'm muting. Yo, 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 yo. There should be an unwritten rule, yeah? If, you're, if your mic is making noises like that, don't come into game chat, man. Stay in party chat. If your boys accept it, stay in party chat. There's no one in game chat once they hear all of that. But yeah, man, we hit 200k out here. It, it's kind of crazy to me because um, I'm going to be completely honest in everything I'm saying right here. It's like, okay, when you hit 100k, it's weird because hitting 100k is mad. And the reason why... Uh, wait. Let me throw this. Okay, did it. Get him. That's a hit marker. So close. But yeah, the reason why 100k is mad is because you get your plaque. You get your 100k plaque, which is insane, bro. Like, just think, you're making videos and stuff like that. And then you actually get a plaque from YouTube. You get, like, a whole, like, certificate with, like, a, a letter. And, it, and it's just weird, especially uh, from, like, my, like, generation of, like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I want to say, like, generation of YouTubers where it's, uh, I don't know. You've just seen so many people. Bro. Oh, he slid. That's a good. That was a good play. That was a good play. I rate that. You're seeing so many people like I don't know hit 100k. Like so many big YouTubers do unboxings of their 100k plaque, showcase it, talk about it in videos. And to you or, or to someone watching, you gotta bear in mind I'm young, bro. I'm 19, so I'm seeing like a bunch of YouTubers hit 100k or a bunch of my favorite YouTubers hit that milestone. And it's like wow, that right there, that's that's insane. Do you know what I mean? And it is insane. It's crazy. But I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that. I'm thinking, bro, that is crazy to get a whole plaque from YouTube. 100,000 people subscribe to it. And you hit that yourself. That's uh, that. It's just, it's wild. It's wild. Do you know what I mean? It's like coming to reality that, you know, you put all your time into these videos and it's actually possible to hit 100K. You know what I mean? It's weird. Like you come to that realization like, bro, this is mad. This is, uh, this is just something crazy. It's what you've always wanted. You've been watching those videos of, you know, people, of people, you know, hit hitting 100k you know hitting all these crazy milestones and it just seems kind of surreal oh he got beamed off of that you do it yourself it is different because you've seen all those people do it and you've held them to like such a high standard but then after you hit 200k it's, it's kind of weird in the sense that okay i've hit 100k now and that next plaque is at a mil so it's like it's all a bit weird like your thought process is a bit mad and that seems like extremely surreal and of course the same thing like you've seen a bunch of people hit that uh, hit that mil it just seems like wild but me hitting 200k now it's weird because it's like okay i hit that 100k not so mad to me and now i've done that twice that's insane that's insane of course you know i've put a lot of work in and stuff like that but you know you guys that have been supporting me and all that different stuff you know like my videos watching my videos subscribing of course that is so mad bro it's so mad but, you know even though i said it at the start of the video man i appreciate you guys it's uh it's, uh, it's crazy it definitely is crazy the opportunities that i've had with youtube now insane like i've been to la now and i know i said this at new year but i'll keep it short i've been to la now um you know i've been out of the country because realistically i'd never been on a plane before you know 2019 i'd never been on a plane i'd never been you know on holiday like that so it wasn't really a holiday but do you know what i mean it's, it's mad if he hits me with another sniper shot like it's, it's insane i'm not even gonna talk like i've made it because i definitely haven't i'm nowhere near where like i want to be let's just keep going let's try to get to 300k now do you know what i mean like this <laughs> What the flee? Ah, oh, two people mounted on the wall, and this guy mounted on this wall. That's insane. What the flip did I just do? I swear to God, this Wilson get better disappear. I got the nuke. Flip, man. Woo! Yo. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Jesus, we'll talk about that. I was so tense just now. <laughs> Where's this guy?
Man, bush camping. Vibes, lads, come on now. I've been trying this for a couple games and people have just been stopping me, man. Whether it's like high levels, people knowing where I am, C4 and stuff like that. But this one right here, this setup, well, I've changed it like a little bit. But this variant that you get when you buy this M13 is actually pretty good. It really is. Hold on, I can't get that guy. It actually is pretty good, man. So if you guys want to try it out or you've been thinking about copying, then it's definitely a good weapon. For sure, for sure. Just a little bit. Just a bit. Oh, that's right here, still shooting. What are you doing, man? Alright, I, I was about to get another uh, advance, but sack it. We're going to call this thing in M13 nuke. The new M13 nuke. Let's call this joint in, man. Come on now. I've been recording for like an hour trying to get this, like late night. That's why there's no face cam, but yo, we got it. That's a whole vibe. I'll take that, man. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video real quick. You already know what to do. I'm telling you, though, like, I wouldn't usually say this. I wouldn't really usually make a video on, like, a new variant. But this one is actually nice. Not only is it, like, green and stuff, but the variant that they put together isn't actually too bad. Like, it really isn't. The M13 kind of melts now. Duffy is telling me, like, they kind of did, like, a little hot fix to make it, like, a little bit better than it was. Because it used to take a lot of bullets to kill people. But we got that, Duke. And we were losing, too. That just makes it even better, man.